morning to you. Say good morning to you. That's how we start our days. It's 7.30. Welcome to the day. Let's have a good vlog. Bit of a change of scene from Mr. Tumple's Hokey Cokey to Outside with Bird Song. That's nice. Pearly, who can we see under there? Do you think anybody's hiding under here? Huh? Do you think anybody's hiding under here? Uh. Hello? Hello, my little friend. Pearl's not bothered. Straight over to the kitchen. What have we got? Oh good, a soggy old packet of raisins. That'll be good for to play with. Bit of water in there. I think it's rained, Pearly. Doesn't the garden look so lovely at this time of day? I absolutely love this time of year. What do you think, please, for this? Here you go. You don't even want it. Oh yes! We know how to live. Oh hi, I can do a proper a proper hello to you now. I'm sort of set up a bit for the day. Um Hello, welcome to a new weekly vlog. Today I'm at home but it's a full work day. I'm doing absolutely loads today and I feel so like pumped for it. I was up till midnight last night thinking about ideas. I'm having like a really creative couple of days. You know sometimes just inspiration strikes and when it happens you've got to harness it. A bit like when you decide to clear out a whole room and like empty all the drawers and do all the wardrobes and stuff. You've just got to do that when, when the mood takes you otherwise you know you're never gonna do it. So, I'm doing that. Um, I've just popped into the shop to buy another copy. This is my 12th copy of Hello Magazine because I am in it. Oh my God. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. Um, brace yourself. Hello, hello there. Hello, it's me. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Um, that's a bit thrilling. It's only out for one week, so basically every time I go into a shop, I buy two copies. I've just given one to someone else. Um, I'm keeping that one to add to my collection. And now I'm about to drive out to a little farm shop and get a few bits and pieces because two things. One, I'm making some of my WW content today because you know that I'm a WW, used to be Weight Watchers, ambassador for a year. So that's like an ongoing thing that I do every month. And also, I think I might get a few little like special dinner bits and do Liam a little at home date night. It's hard to get out when you're a parent, especially if you're a parent of like a little, little, little one, like Pearly has to be in bed by a certain time. Darcy, you can stretch out and she's much more capable of going to restaurants and stuff. But I don't have Darcy this week. She's with her dad all week for half term because I had her for the February half term for Disney. I feel like I'm just telling you a lot of information. I'm doing a bit of like an info dump on you. I'm not doing a dump on you. I'm just giving you an info dump. <laughs> an info plop. <laughs> Someone give me a better phrase for that. Um, yeah, it's quite hard. I would really like to have a bit of a date night with Liam, but unless you get a babysitter, it's just hard work logistically. I know a lot of you will be like nodding to this. So I think I'm going to do a little home date night and maybe set outside up nicely um, and like have a little dinner ready for him and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go to the farm shop because it feels very feels very nice to go to a farm shop, a farm shop. Oh, I'm not just going to a shop, I'm going to a farm shop. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go and get those bits. So come along for the day. Um, it will be worky and chatty and homey. And I think those are the weeklies that we all seem to like best. I'm trying to save like the fun, like pizzazz and jazz stuff for the bonus videos of which I have some to go up as well. Uh, which I'm gonna edit today. Ah, it's a great day, it's a great day, and the sun is shining, let's go. Just putting on some high quality grown up music here. That's uh, now that's what I call Disney. I think I'm gonna start with Circle of Life. Go. I don't think the weather can make up its mind today. It's gone really grey and overcast and it was so sunny this morning. It's kind of warm. And I've got a little cardigan. There's a bit of a breeze. 
that's the weather update. I'm at the farm shop now. I'm gonna go and see what treats they have in store. This is my favorite one in Northampton. It's called Beckwith Emporium. I mean, for goodness sake, even the trolleys are cute. Look, they're little teeny tiny trolleys. Oh yes, here we go. Look at this, they've got local apple juice. I love the way everything is all laid out in these boxes. It just makes it all so, ooh, pure English honey. It just makes it all so very, very appealing to me. Wow, those are very large peaches. It's like the size of an apple. I might get some of those. The strawberries are part of my WW content that I'm making, but I've also got some peaches and some pears and watermelon, that's Pearl's favorite. But I think I might do a little fruit salad tonight. I'm not a massive tomato fan, but Liam is a huge fan of tomatoes on the vine. So I think I'm gonna get some of these and I don't really know what to do with them. Just like put them on his plate. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna get some. So these ready meals are absolutely delicious. They're by the brand Cook. I don't know much about them. I just know that I like them. They are yummy. My favorite is the chicken Dijon. It has a really, really nice sauce. Um, I've also had the vegetarian lasagna from here as well, which is really, really nice. Um, where are you? Beef stroganoff, rump beef. I was like, rum beef, what's that? Steak and red wine pie. They do a lot. Can we take a moment to look at all the cakes and the treats? Look at those. It just goes on. It just goes on. It's like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory of deliciousness. I mean, hello. As if the cakes and meringues weren't enough. Oh my God. Look at all these little chocolate bonbons. Oh my God, how cute are these? I might use those for my um, little WW. I'm making a little eaten mess. How cute would they be in it? Like rainbow eaten mess. I love it. Happiest of days. I just got one of those parking spaces where you just drive through into it. You know the ones I mean when you think that you've got your space, but then the one in front of it's not got a car and you're like, yes, thank you. I shall just drive out of that one. I have finished um, needing my car parking space. I am at Poundland. I haven't been to Poundland since, gosh, really I can't remember the last time I went to Poundland maybe January February time um, and I'm going to go and pick up a few bits for an upcoming upcoming holiday we have in July which I know is really far in advance because it's the end of May start of June now but I want to do a video about carry-on luggage for kids and we're flying with two kids so Darcy and her cousin Evie and two would you call Pearl well Pearl's definitely still a baby and then her cousin Dexter is one year older so a toddler a baby a toddler and two kids um and I said to Becky that I would sort out the carry-on entertainment etc so I'm gonna go into Poundland and see what they've got in there start building those packs up a little bit uh and obviously I'll take you with me because who doesn't like a little look around Poundland this is what I meant I was gonna have this one but then oh hi that one was available yes here she is, shining, shimmering, splendid. Just looking at this and I was thinking, gosh, that's the Hinch effect, isn't it? And then I saw this and I was like, oh my God, it's actually Mrs. Hinch. Yes, mate, your Hinch must have. Look at her with her basket and her book. <laughs> that's so cool. I've got some scrubbies. I'm genuinely impressed with their Father's Day cards. I've picked up a couple for Liam. If he doesn't watch this video, diagram of her dad. This is very Liam. <laughs> Those three things are the things that he does for Darcy and Pearl. I love it. So I picked up some bits of my video and now I'm in the garden section. And look at this. They've got loads of little fairy bits. I'm definitely going to get some of, some of these things. Oh, fairy dust. I like these sorts of things that you can put out in the garden. Just make a little fairy zone. So cute. Oh, look at you. Although you'd go a bit funny because that would go horrible in the rain. Oh, look. Oh, my God. That's so cute. Oh, hi. I'm home. If you can hear little, like, a rabbit munching, <laughs> it's because the lovely nanny is here and Pearly's coming asleep. So 
You and you're being very good. Is that vegetable sticks you've got? Salad. 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 So she's nibbling some salad. But I wanted to show you. <laughs> We've had some goodies. <laughs> so this is like a little impromptu haul. I did a little order with New Look the other day because you know that yellow dress I've been wearing so much. It's it's been on my Instagram lots of times. It's like a wrap dress and it's a dipped hem. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but it, I was in Hello magazine and it is featured in there. Um, and I thought, oh, new look, I've got some good bits in at the moment. So I've had a little try. This dress, I'm not sure how I feel about the print. You know, sometimes you see a print online and think, oh, I'm not sure it's going to be the one for me. But I liked the cut of the dress and sometimes that's more important. So I'm going to try it on and see if it's one of those that looks nice or not. But it's a full length. Um, pleated number so I'll give that a little go but what do you think of prints like this I'm not not too sure how I feel about snake prints I'm just not a snake fan I've also bought some floral culottes culottes are things I've not worn since I was about nine I was wearing culottes when do you remember when culottes were in yeah they're back they're back in and I'm not sure what they'll do for my figure but they just seem very comfortable they don't seem like a size 20 do they? oh no they've got a bit of give but we'll see oh oh wow that is unflattering when you <laughs> looks like a, a flag to go over my giant bum um i also bought a blazer 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 <laughs> i won't take that out um because sometimes i go to events or work things and they're casual but smart casual so I thought I'd buy a pale blazer to go with like jeans and a white t-shirt and all that jazz and all that jazz and then finally I purchased a blue floral ruffle dress I'll have to try this on it's this fabric um what do you feel like I don't like shopping in shops very much anymore but then you can't touch things or feel them Okay, it's a fabric with no stretch at all, but I really liked the ruffly bits. If I try them on today, I'll be sure to film them. Um, if not, I'll make sure I put them on Instagram. So that's that. And then I shopped online at Clark's, the shoe shop. Um, I put on Facebook last week, what shoes would you recommend for Pearl for a beach holiday because we're going away as I've mentioned and there'll be a beach but a pebble beach so it'll be like hard for her to kind of navigate like like all terrain you know she'll be like Whoa. she walks like a tiny drunk person so you know she needs good footwear um and something she can get wet and my instant thought was jelly shoes because I'm a baby of the 80s so of course I thought jelly shoes but I'm worried that they rub and cause little blisters wow that is a very secure bag Oh, there we go. So I bought these. Oh, why, are, why are baby shoes so adorable? <laughs> so I bought her these. Let's focus. Come here. There we go. Um, and these straps just feel very, very soft. And like they would just bend to her feet. Take you out. Look, so this is a very... So this feels like a very, very soft... Um, backing I like that it's just velcro so you've not got to sort of fanny about with buckles it's got a bit of give in the soles but also it's not just you know sometimes with she's just like a flat bit it's like got a bit of something to it got a bit of grip um, and also it's that scuba material so that can get wet so I bought those for Miss Pearly Girl the same but in a slightly more um, Darcy kind of she, she would like this colour more, I think. Um, and Darcy, if she could, would live in Crocs. or well, not even Crocs. They're like the fake ones you get from Morrison's. She calls those her garden shoes. But I want her to have something better for, like, climbing on rocks and going on the pebbles and all that sort of stuff. Um, so, yeah, two little pairs of shoesies for my babes. This is an accurate representation of my soft office. Just constantly backing up my laptop, even though... I feel like it is backed up, it constantly says it's too full. Notepads, sorry, notepad, pens, phone, me, yeah. Well, hey, I'm working in my soft office and I thought I'd share what I'm working on because this is what I'm spending most of my afternoon doing. So, 
The way my business works is that I am with Gleam, who are a management company, and if a brand, we're going to call it, um, we're going to call it Glitter, Glitter.com, if, well, that probably is a username, a, a place actually, we'll just call it Glitter123, if Glitter123 thinks, oh, I really want to use social media marketing to promote my product, which is a glitter ball, they will contact all these different agencies, there's lots of them, but Gleam is obviously the best, and say, hi, have you got anybody that you think would be good for this campaign? And then Gleam will have a look who's on their roster and they will pick who they think is best fit with that brand. So it's a passive process, although I'm obviously very productive because I make all the content, um, I put the ideas forward, I go back and forth with the brand and decide what kind of thing we'll put together, and then I make it and then I deliver it, but the actual like getting of the brand partnerships is kind of passive. I'm okay with that because it's worked like it's worked beautifully so far. But I always have a lot of little ideas of things I want to do. And so every now and again I'll put together a dossier, as I like to call it, and send it to Gleam and be like, I would like to pitch these ideas. And usually it's just a couple of things. But I was up last night until like midnight and I had oh gosh, I look like I've got like a dog's tail. <laughs> um and I had so many ideas for so many different brands, for six different brands. All brands that I've worked with before or have contacted and said they'd like to do something and then it's kind of fizzled out or for one reason or another that idea has not worked because sometimes a brand will come to me. Um, I had a supermarket brand recently who I really love come to me and say this is our idea um, and it involves this, that and the other and it just wasn't an idea that I thought would, it wouldn't have worked well for me in that it's not something I would naturally do and I was like Ugh, I guess I could do it but I would literally just be doing this for the sake of the job which I know I'm trying to explain it well I never want to do something just for the sake of a job it's got to be something that would fit really naturally and organically because ultimately if I start doing that it's kind of just fake and you guys will notice and that's just not how this all works so Unfortunately, I had to turn down that partnership, which I was really gutted about. So I've been thinking and thinking about that, and I was like, you know what? I could just go back to them with another idea. So I've put together all these ideas, and that's what I'm writing up now, this little document. And then, hopefully, I will have some of my oldies back, brands that I've worked with before, because I love it when you get a repeat. Like, Ole has been one of those. Remember, I worked with them last year and this year. Benefit, makeup, cosmetics. Worked with them last year, worked with them again. Um... I love it when a brand comes back because then you know that it's been a success. It's been a success because you guys have taken it well and have supported it and engaged with it and enjoyed it. Excuse me. And it's been a success because I've enjoyed making Like if I'm saying yes again, it means I enjoyed it the first time. And it's been a success for the brand as well. So um, yeah, I thought I would just contact some of the brands I've worked with before. The ones that I've liked, I've cherry picked. <laughs> I've cherry picked the good ones. Um, so that's what I'm writing. I feel a bit buzzy because I like this. I like the thrill of the chase and I like making ideas and putting them down and like trying to make them the absolute best they can be so I'm doing that and also in a minute I need to start editing a video but for now I'm doing all my little my little ideas and I like it a lot um bit of feedback I would love from you that I've just literally just thought of now are there any brands that you have enjoyed on this channel that you would like to see more of um there can be any from the last 10 years and if you would put why, that would be amazing. Uh, you don't have to. Um, but if there's anything stand out that you thought, I really liked that video or that Instagram content or that blog post, if we're going back like many moons, let me know because you are the people whose feedback I want the very most. So I'm going to crack on with this uh, and I'll see you in the next clip. Pearly Poos is awake and I'm going to get on with the rest of this WW content i'm going a bit crafty with it so i thought i'd show you thought you might enjoy it so i've initially got my little flat lay and i'm going to take little insta story pictures of it and maybe a little square as well and i was thinking about writing on the paper either doing like little doodles or <laughs> cute spell in the background or writing what the ingredients are but i'm, in, I'm enjoying this process a lot right it's a bit later on and as you can see i've sort of de-dayed i've taken the day off Take my jewellery off, put my hair up. I have kept the bra on for your viewing pleasure. Um, but Liam is home and I want to show you something very exciting that arrived earlier on today. 
Oh we Oh god, you know you're getting old when you make that like sound when you when you go down. When you get down. Oh my god. Um right, so you might remember I went to the baby show a couple of weekends ago and I did some work there. I did an on-stage QA and I walked around and I had a look at everything, it was lovely, and met so many of you. And whilst I was there, I saw the eye candy stand and I Instagrammed about the pink one. It was called the Raspberry and it had a pink canopy. The lady got in touch and was like, would you like one? And you guys know how I feel about prams. Obviously, I said yes, I would love one. In case you're new, you know the way boy racers feel about cars? That's how I feel about prams and pushchairs. I feel very passionately about them. Um, so any opportunity I get to try a new one, give one a little test drive, I'm all over it. So we got to chatting and then I was saying, is the Raspberry compatible with a buggy board? And she has sent the Lime, which I believe is, or the Raspberry, one of them is. Anyway, I've opened the Lime. We've got the Raspberry to open. It is just a beautiful, beautiful piece of kit. I'm gonna try it out for a few weeks and do like a full review. But, oh yes, hello, hello. Some things that I really love about her is this. You can have it quite low, or if you're like me and you like to have your arms up high, you can have it really high. I really enjoy this colour. I don't have, I've never gone for a purple one, but I thought this would be so lovely in the autumn. I like that it's super, super cosy. I'm gonna take this off in a second to put a pearl in it because we don't need the cosy foot muff, but I really, really like how sleek that looks. Um, it's got a lovely little canopy, a hood, and this unzips, I noticed, to make it go even further if you wanted extra shade or extra shelter or if they're napping. And then you have like your little mummy panel there so you can see in and check how they're doing or give them a little bit of extra ventilation. It also has, under here I found, a pull out bit. So if your baby is napping, they are fully, fully, like, shielded from any light and stimulation with that there. These are just my initial thoughts, because I think that you don't really get the, the the go of a buggy until you've really used it out and about on lots of different occasions and lots of different ways. But initially, I'm excited about the size of this basket and the access of it. Some baskets you find have, like, a bit here so it's hard to get into them and you're like struggling on the side but this looks very open which I think is really good it's really really nice and smooth on the path I've also tried it on the grass a little bit and it was absolutely fine although this isn't particularly like rocky terrain I'd be interested to see how this fares um, on other flooring <laughs> I'm so geeky it's got a cup holder and also they sent a cup a little reusable cup, which I thought was good. Um, yeah, they're my initial thoughts on the eye candy lime so far. So far, so good. I'm really impressed with this, actually. Really impressed. Thank you, eye candy. Hello, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you want this bit down? Is that, where's Pearly? Where is she? <gasps> Hello. <laughs> Where is she? Where is my belly, belly, belly? This is very nice. What do you think of the new ride, Pearly? I like it a lot. So this is the eye candy raspberry push chair and we can already see what colours it's going to be because these came in a separate package and oh my god, I just love them. They're so bright. My silver cross pink pram is in the shade vintage pink which is a much more like baby pink which I absolutely love like a dusky light pink but this is a really really fun pink this is like the little foot muff what's a majigger look at this how cute is that little baby's feet going there but you can also reach up that way I'm assuming this untucks yes oh my god it's like a little baby sleeping bag so that will be so lovely come winter Right, we've all learned a valuable lesson in why you should read the instructions. I got really arrogant, I was like, oh yeah, put buggies together all the time, but this one was slightly different to the ones I'm used to. This is lovely, this feels very lightweight, 
very slim line. I really enjoy that this is quite high, that the child will be sat quite high. I love how much it lays back. That's near flat. And a lot of the buggies that I have at the moment don't go as flat as that. Big, big basket. Yeah, I really like this. I love the colour. I love that this is grey and not black. That's really nice. Yes. Very nice. Ooh. Which one do you like best? Right, I've put my new toys down. Liam's having a go with it now. He said it's lovely and really liked were your thoughts on the raspberry, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're going to have some dinner. We're going to have some... I can't get my words out today. We're going to have some dinner now. I had originally planned... Oh, you don't know this way, but I originally was going to do like a little parents' date night in and do the outside table and everything, and then it just got cloudy and I got that horrible headache and yeah. it just didn't... You just didn't happen did it sorry well, you made dinner yeah i wasn't going to say that you made dinner I wasn't actually going to include that oh, okay. liam might have made dinner um but i put it in the fridge Thank put you. the components in the fridge i was the component provider and you were the chef yeah. it was teamwork really your generosity knows no doubt <laughs> one day i'm going to do liam the most incredible date night and you'll be like like mind blown <laughs> Um, so that's where we are for the evening. I'm gonna just have some chili and sweet potato now. Nom nom nom. Oh dear, I'm filming this not on the day of all the footage that you just saw and I'm very sorry about that. I didn't film any more on Thursday. It's now Saturday night and I'm doing the edit and I was like, oh no, I didn't film any more. I didn't film any more. I actually had a FaceTime call with Darcy who is with her dad for the whole of the half term, which is only fair because she was with me for the whole of February. And it just, I don't know, I don't, upset me is the wrong phrase to use. I can't find the right word for it, but it just kind of flattened me a bit because I really miss her and I don't feel like I've got any right to complain about that at all because it was my choice for us all to live like this and I know that that was the right choice for everybody involved because we're all living happy, all the adults, we're all living happy lives with new people now. But my mummy heart still really hurts when she's not there for a long time and again I feel like I can't complain about this because I know that her dad will obviously miss her when I take her for a long time. Um, it's just... Just, it's just one of those things that's hard everybody's got hard things in their life and for some reason on that day it just really really got to me usually it's absolutely fine because we have had this arrangement now um for four or five years but just just that day just got to me I was feeling a bit delicate anyway because I'd had a really funny headache that day um so, so yeah, I just thought, oh, I, I remember thinking, I know what I'll do. I'll just do the bedtime, bath time routine and answer questions and smile for it. But I was like, oh, I, I hate, I hate just like forcing something out. So I was like, no, I'll just leave it and come back on another day when I'm feeling like well and mended and okay again. And I do today. I've done the book tour um, event. It was Lindsay Kelt's book tour and she invited Paige and I to her event in Manchester. Oh, it was good. You can always rely on a northerner to have a good night out. Northern events, no offence to the rest of the country, about to offend half the country. Northern events, you just know, are always going to be good events. So thank you so much to everybody that came to that. I have filmed a little video, I've done a little room tour of the hotel because that hotel was a swish. Um, and I also have some footage from Tuesday because I started vlogging on Tuesday because Pearl had baby ballet. Um, but then... I didn't, I decided not to film that day because I thought the Thursday would be better day, blah, blah, blah. But if you want to see like that little bit of bonus footage, let me know and I'll put it in next week. So, excuse me, I just wanted to wrap up the vlog and, um, you know, give give an ending. There wasn't any sped up bits with dun, dun, la, 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 dun, dun, none of that this week. So maybe next week I'll need to do a bit of speedy, speedy, something, something. Um, yeah, I hope you've all had great weeks and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.